Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Pro Gamer here, and today, guys, it's right. Today, not tomorrow, but today, we are back with another video. And for today's video, we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of the game, Life is Strange 2. This is episode number two of the game. I don't know what part number this is, but we're on episode number two of the game called Rules. Now, the last episode, guys, or the last episode of the game, at least, if you guys didn't see it, basically what we ended up getting up to, I guess, is we played as Sean Diaz, we got home from school, talking to our friends, planning to go to a party, planning to have a bit of fun, planning to hopefully meet and catch up with Jen, who was our character's crush, and, uh, yeah. Everything went downhill from there. Basically, after speaking and hanging around with our family for a little bit, then our little brother Daniel kind of got into a bit of trouble with our neighbour, and, well, a bit of back and forth happened, and the police came, and then we got into a scuffle with our neighbour, and then our dad came out and he got shot. And then a concussion blast blew up the place and knocked cars back. And uh, yeah, then we were on the run. Then we were camping out for a little bit. Found a cool gas station. Found a cool lady who was running the shop. Uh, then we got kidnapped by a racist guy. Then we got out. And then this cool dude named Brody helped us out. We went back and saw the lookout of Arcadia Bay. And the impact of our decision in Life is Strange 1 when we played that game. Then we actually kept going on, found out we had Mushroom the dog. Thanks to Brody, we got a motel for the night to just chill out and after everything has gone on, just, you know, have a good night's rest. And, uh, yeah. As we were going to get some food for Daniel from the vending machine, he was watching the TV and saw the news report that, unfortunately, our father, Esteban Diaz, had passed away in that big scuffle at our house that we evacuated from. Which Daniel didn't know yet, so, um, yeah. And then his magical life is strange witchcraft of gravity-defying powers and I don't even know what you want to call it, came out. And, uh, yeah. But anyway, guys, yeah, that is a bit of a catch-up on episode one. I hope you guys are enjoying the series as much I have been to playing it so far. I figured after seeing Daniel with his, uh, good old blue flanny, I figured I'd get a good old flannel top for this one. Or at least get a blue one to kind of match Daniel a little bit, you know? So, uh... Yeah, now that we're matching, now that we're ready, now that we have the recap, let's stop talking about this game. Let's stop talking about this episode, and uh, let's get straight into it. So, um, yeah, let's go. Once upon a time, in a wild, <laughs> wild world. Yeah, to say the least. There were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. Good old papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but one day... It's the bomb. Just took their dad away. Forever. <sighs> so now the brothers were alone. And they had to find a new home. Indeed we did. They started a journey. Through the great big forest. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights. Learning how to live on their own. Hey, that's like the title screen, I think. Time, they slept in the backwoods. Among creepy creatures. And barely ate anything. They eventually found a peaceful orchard and were able to eat in peace. But they didn't know. Hunters tried to tie them up, but the wolf brothers managed to escape. Luckily. With the help of a friendly bear. Good old Brody. He showed them how to survive and helped them find a warm camp for the night. That's when the big brother discovered yeah. that the little one was not an ordinary wolf. Yeah. Super wolf. That's how they found themselves even further. Headed to the faraway land of their pop. What the love us? Here we come! To find peace. And yeah, to say Daniel is a super wolf is putting it lightly. Life is Strange 2 is a story-based game that highlights player choice. Your actions and decisions will have consequences, impact the world around you, and your brother choose wisely. The awesome adventures of Captain Spirit save file import has succeeded. Okay, so our Let's Play of the Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit is definitely going to affect us this episode then. Which, like I said, I believe was set in Oregon, so... To our grandparents. December 1st, 2016. Willamette National Forest, Oregon. Okay, yeah, so we are in Oregon then. Or at least continuing from Oregon, because I think we were there at the end of the last episode. Oh, mushroom! Buddy boy! Ah, you are adorable! Between you and Pompadou! <sighs> yep, 
You know what? I'm, I'm gonna take a bit of time just to relax. Just to enjoy this nice peaceful music, this peaceful, serene nature. Whilst we got it, because, uh... Let's be honest, it's life is strange Try and, um... Point. It's about to kick off at some point. That one's too easy. <sighs> Come on, buddy. Don't brag. It was too heavy for you a few days ago. Oh, are we already testing out your powers? That is still impressive. I don't care if you're just starting out to learn how to use them. That is still impressive. Damn. I'm trying to lift something else. Not too heavy, though. Fair enough. I'm a little tired. Fair enough. Also, like the jacket, buddy boy. You look... Okay, oh, come on. Really? Really? It was all last episode that Daniel was wearing, like, a little... Blue flannel top. So I'm thinking, you know what? I'd come back this episode. I'd wear a blue flannel top to match, and you're not even wearing it right now. Dang it! Okay, let's look at Mushroom. Also, hold L2 to interact with Daniel's powers when that's displayed. Uh. You could try and lift Mushroom? Yeah, maybe that's. Are you kidding? I don't want to hurt her. <laughs> Fair yeah, enough. Yeah, you're probably right. Let's leave the puppy out of this. Also, yeah, Mushroom is a herd. I thought so. I thought it was a herd when I was uh, doing the intro. Okay. What about this? How about those cans? Can you fly them all together without dropping any? Sure. Look. Are we going to be juggling cans? <laughs> That's awesome, dude. You're getting way better at this. Yeah. Now... Okay. Let's show Daniel some more stuff to play with before we call it a day. Sure. But, uh, yeah. It's good to know you can, uh, lift some things and do this cool, weird power. I don't even know what's going on, Mr. Gravity Defying Man Daniel over here. But, um, yeah. I think we just kind of need to focus on, or at least at some point, put a bit of focus on controlling those powers when you get a bit mad or sad. Or if you're feeling a little bit bad, which hopefully you're not because I don't want you to be a bad person. Can you lift it? Well, didn't you technically lift this earlier? So, how about a small rock? Yep, come on, please, get around the small rock. How about this one? Can yeah. you throw this rock in the river? I... Oh, yeah. Just watch. I know it's not skipping stones, but still. Uh. I think this is cooler than skipping stones in a river right now. Splash! Splash! I like Daniel so much more now. Yes, Daniel, you are a lad. Oh, even Daniel has... That's how Daniel got his powers. Daniel has the power of the splash. Oh, Daniel. Oh, you just made my day. Thank you very Dude, much, buddy it's boy. It's late and cold. Okay, okay. Let's get done with this practice session. Okay, fine. Can we just have some fun with the power of the splash, Sean? I'm with Daniel on this one. Let's have a bit of fun with this. How about trying out that rock over there? Just one more time. You got this, buddy boy. I tried yesterday. You can do it. Before. Believe. It's too far. You can do it. I can't reach it. Just one more time. Come on, buddy boy. Use those powers. Uh, I should probably hold the controller, but use those powers. Uh, I'm so close. Ah, uh, dang I can it. Feel it. Yeah, I bet you stand on the rock, maybe. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Well, we can't jump on that rock. Also, I'm just saying, I, I know I said it's about the start of the last game as well, but this game, like, I know the other Life is Strange games, it looks so nice, but this one just looks so nice as well. It's almost like each Life is Strange game, it's like they slightly change the, like, style of, or, like, the style and look of the environments, but it's like each time they just slowly tweak it and improve it, and it's just, ah, oh my goodness, with the lighting and all, and just, ah, oh, good job, don't nod. I like this game, and the look of it. If you can't tell. That one. Here we go, buddy boy. Small rocks, but not the big ones. You can do this. Trust me. I got faith in you. Relax. Well help you, come on. Use your powers. I'll try. You've got this. Come on. Come on. I... You can lift it! I got faith in you, buddy boy! Keep going! 
You've got unlimited power! Come on, let's go! Oh, buddy boy, you're doing it! Oh, you're doing it! Wow, that is a yeah, that is a pretty big rock. Let's be honest. Whoa! Holy shit! I did it! Yeah, buddy boy! <laughs> like a boss. Like a boss! You see that mushroom? That was the biggest rock ever. Yeah. Come yep. on, dude. That's just the start. Let's try something else. Cool. What do you got in mind? Coach Aaron. You're my power coach. <laughs> a snowball fight? Not yet. This is a new exercise for <laughs> Oh boy. See if you can stop this in the air. Cool? Okay, but you better not hit me. Like that time you gave me a bruise? Serious. You right. won't let me, right? Try it. Okay, well we'll toss it to the side to start, buddy boy. There we go. Aw, that sucked. How about one more? That was still pretty impressive. Oh, we can do power Ready? like that. Okay, we'll do one right next to you. Power shot! Yes! Look! Look what I can do, Sean. I knew that you could. Yeah. I've taught you well. But you, you're a master student. <coughs> Are hey, you okay, buddy boy? That still sounds nasty. <laughs> You're not getting better. I told you. I'm fine. Just a little beat. Well, you need to rest now. Superhero. Why do I feel like Daniel coughing and stuff? Can we go back now? Yeah. Let's just fill up the canteens before we head back. Okay, we'll check this out as well, but why do I feel like Daniel coughing is... Like, or like him being a little bit sick is kind of the equivalent of, I guess, Max getting her blood noses and stuff. So, I don't know. I don't know if he is going to get a blood nose, but if he is, then I wonder if their powers are somewhat connected in a way. Like, I know, I guess, Max's powers were like time travel powers and his are like telekinesis lifting and moving massive objects and stuff. But I wonder if there's like the way they get sick with their powers is going to be similar too, maybe. I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. Okay, so we uh, found the targets for Daniel to power practice. Yeah. I... Yeah, I don't even... How... I, yeah. We found a way to practice some crazy witchcraft life is strange ability. Don't know how we... Okay, you know, let's be honest. It's probably not too hard to figure out how to do it, but I don't know how we did it still. But anyway, now we're going to fill up the canteens. We've got $4 left with us. Uh, What is this? Pocket knife. The blade needs sharpening, but it's still a useful tool. Fair enough. And we still got the condoms and a math hotline and a US. Hey, why do we have some of this stuff? We really don't need it. Let's be honest. Jeez, don't know why Daniel keeps collecting these. I wonder if these have anything to do with his superpower as well. Like, maybe he gets his superpower from the energy of, like, the land around him or something? I don't know, but maybe there's a reason why he's collecting them. Whether he knows that's how it works or not. Oh boy, we have a lot of new stuff to read. I think we got up to here. Yeah, put that far out. Okay, I think we're here. Uh, crazy racist played chef and trapped me in, yeah, in the hole. Daniel saved us. Kids brave. Wait, didn't we read that? I think we did. Yes. Yeah, yeah, because this is where we found out that uh, the Arcadia Bay spot, which I thought was Arcadia Bay... Actually was Arcadia Bay, so yeah. That lookout segment with Brody where we were talking about, you know, how we should really talk to Daniel about what happened to their dad. That was Arcadia Bay after the tornado had hit it. So yet again, our impact or the choice we made in Life is Strange 1 as Max has impacted this game. Which is cool that they made the impact that like made it impact this game, but damn that tornado did so much destruction. Okay, I think we're up to here. Yeah, I think so. Brody goes to the room. Here's a boss. He even left us some cash. Sure, hope we meet again one day. Chilling a bit. Bean ages. Real beds. Almost too comfy to be true. I miss you so much. Maybe you could come back. 555-165-2168. Had to call Lila one last time. I missed her laughing. Hope she won't get in trouble. 
Now phone went out for a midnight swim. Yeah, when you toss... Wait, how did... No, surely that phone didn't go for a midnight swim. You could not have tossed the phone from the balcony of that hotel to the ocean from that distance. And if you got that kind of arm, you should join, like, the NFL, be a quarterback, just be tossing, tossing long distance... I don't even know what you call it. L long distance throws in the... I don't even know what you call it in the NFL. Anyway, you should join the NFL, because that is a good arm if that's the case. Off the radar. What the actual... Yeah. What's happening to Daniel? What is he? When did that start? Same thing in Seattle. What will we do? November 1st, 2016. On the road again. Gotta find ourselves a hideout. Then Puerto Lobos. We're gonna make it. We're gonna hopefully find some family and have a good laugh again. Not on the road. Be chilling in one spot and just have a... Have a, a solid place as home. Just not a moving home. So we got our family and home is where the family is. November 1st, 2016. Need money and supplies before we head to Puerto Lobos. We'll hide somewhere till we find out what the F is up with Daniel. No idea how we'll handle this. Tired. Try to sleep now. Warm here. Everybus, taking you where you want to be. Where? Um, I'm guessing that's the sign. Yep, that's the little post-it note thing. We're getting off next station wherever it is. Man, there's a lot of pages to catch up on. November 2nd, 2016. Charity thrift store in some town, SE of Albany. Found layers for Daniel and me. Harry was cool, slept in someone's backyard shed. One of five, would not recommend. It itches, the sock walk. November 3rd, 2016. Sleeping in a shelter. Fake names, they didn't seem to give an F. They didn't seem to care. No one seems to care here. They even let mushroom in. Invisible. November 4th, leaving town. Crackhead at the shelter almost snatched our stuff last night. Daniel freaked out and lights flickered. Can't risk another incident. Heading out for the forest again. Too dangerous to have him around people for now. I'm so tired. November 4th, 2016. Hitchhiked along Highway 20. Geologist on the way to Mount Jefferson picked us up. Not big on talking. Told her we were on a survivalist trip. LMAO, most accurate lie I've ever told. Well, we are trying to survive. Trying to survive and get to Puerto Lobos. November 7th, 2016. OMG, we found a house. A real house. Looks like an abandoned cabin. No one has been here for years. It was just here waiting for us. Hansel and Gretel style? Mice Palace. Fair enough. November 8th, 2016. Settled in. Had to leave Daniel to look for food. He hates me. I hate myself too for leaving him alone. Hope I don't get lost. One mile away. Previous town. Right. One plus hour. And traps. Okay, cool. You built yourself a little map. Smart. Keep an eye on your location so you know how to get back. Build yourself a little trail. Good job, and hopefully you got some food out of it. One dumps are diving near a supermarket. Okay, maybe you didn't get some food out of it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that doesn't sound... If you're having a dumpster dive, I'm guessing it sounds like the traps didn't work. Or you just need more food. I don't know. Jackpot, crazy how much good stuff they throw away. Rock, bait, twigs, loose. A minute noodles by six. Tomato soup by four. Crackers by three. Ravioli by five. Applesauce by three. Bananas by three. Potatoes by four. I think we can last plus or minus two weeks on these. We'll need to stock up after. November 9th, 2016. Found my way back. Daniel, okay. But he broke some stuff around the house trying to use his power. We'll try to help him control it. Practice starts tomorrow. Okay, so it must be the 10th then? I get... Surely it's not... Didn't it say it was like December 1st or something? Focus it. Wait. Size. November 15th, 2016. Nice. Also, it's cool. There's a couple cool images as well. I guess hopefully... For stuff like that where it doesn't really say too much, kind of a cool way to help us, I guess, understand what's been going on and what happens in those, like, time skip segments. Because I think it has technically been, like, a month since the ending of the last episode, so it's like a month of, you know, gameplay or of time we don't really get to see. Ship, captain, crew. No crew without a captain and no captain without a ship. Ship equals six, captains five, crew is four. When the ship, the captain, and the crew are complete, only then you can use the last dice to score some loot. Play with the highest loot over 20 wins the game. Ahoy, Dan and Shroom Adventures. Nice. Make up a couple of the games. Have a bit of fun. Might as well, because you've got to have a bit of fun. Got to keep the morale high somehow. November 17th, 2016. He did it. Sean and Daniel. 7 to 11. 16 to 18. 27 to 29. Lost again. That is fair, buddy boy. That is fair. But good on you, buddy boy, Daniel. Good on you indeed. November 23rd, 2016. Back to town today. Walk slower with the snow. Scavenged in trash. Found tons of good stuff. How can people waste so much food? Trash Panda Persona. 
November 24th, 2016. Oh, wrong button. My bad. November 20th. Nah, November 25th, 2016. Daniel's sick, tired, and coughing. We'll go easy on the outside training until he feels better. November 26th, 2016. Might need to go back in town soon for some medicine. Uh, BC equals 30 mile walk in the snow. Yeah, especially trudging through the snow. At least, like, if you're on, like, the road or something, you can, you know, you can power walk, you can speed through it, but trudging through, like, waist-deep snow or something? Yeah, that would be, uh, a bit of a hassle, to say the least. November 28th, 2016, Sean. Okay, so another game. 8 to 12, 70 to 25, 29 to nothing. Okay, okay, you were lucky this time. Patty boy. Okay, fair enough. I guess he won again. Cool, so now we got the map. So, we, I'm guessing we're in Salem. We're now by the abandoned house. So we've really come inland in Oregon then. Uh, we have no collectibles here. Fair enough. We only just started the episode, even though I guess I've been reading for a while. But, uh... I've been catching up on the journal, seeing what's been going on. Because that was the other thing of Life is Strange 1 when I played it. I really kind of got behind and didn't really read the journal too much. So, uh, maybe this game I'll try to keep up with it a little bit more. And maybe we'll help explain, like, some I guess some of the characters. Well, I guess, A, what happens, what we don't see during those, like, time skips. And B, what some of the characters are thinking when they don't say it blatantly off screen, or, like, on screen and stuff. But okay, cool. So, we are by the abandoned house on November 7th, 2016. And souvenirs. So we've got some cool stuff we can get that we can find. They're very nice. Wait. Aren't they the same? They look like the same toys that were in... I think his name was Chris. Chris Erickson's room, which was uh, Captain Spirit. From the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. So, uh, yeah. I'm guessing we are definitely going to be seeing him at some point this episode, then. Oh, we actually got that, too. Cool. Can we do anything with it? I don't think so. I think it's just a collectible. Fair enough. Okay, let's keep going, shall we? Wait, hold on. Any that cough has been going on for days, Daniel. I really don't like that. I told you, I'm fine. Fair enough. I it's guess just there is. Was... Been outside for a while. To be fair, when you're out in the cold with kind of light, you know, snow gear, or not too much of it, it's understandable how you're going to get pretty cold pretty quick and you know get sick. Okay, let's. Uh, can I not? Okay, fine. We'll go up this way then. We'll go up the rock. Here we go. Fill them up. Get that good old H2O. Get the wildfires over the wildfire zone. Get ready for water extraction. Ranger Diaz. <laughs> nice. I pay that. Nice work, Daniel. Glad to see our training sessions are paying off. Thanks to you. So glad I don't have to touch that water. It's too fucking cold. Yeah. Uh, Probably would be. Sorry. I said fucking. It's fine, buddy boy. <laughs> it's fine out here. There's no one to hear you curse. Say whatever the fuck you want. Cool. Just when we're around people, uh, like in the towns and stuff. What? Just what try to be find, polite, Shroom? please. Wait. Uh, my, mushroom, where, where are you going? Is there anything? Okay, I don't know if there's anything else down this way. Finding that house was a miracle. But I'm afraid we can't stay here much longer. Nice. Um, also, is... Oh, come on. Oh, oh. Again. Oh, oh, on a second. Isn't there a thing we can do over here? <sighs> we really nailed it with this two-headed snow ogre. Yeah. <laughs> They're really badass. And Mushroom isn't even afraid of them anymore. Nice. Hey, Good old buddy boy. Uh, Sean? What's up? The family that lived here... What do you think happened to them? Maybe they moved out. Or left, maybe. I don't know. It's pretty cold out here. They'd want to go warm something warmer, maybe. They must have moved out. Maybe to another state. But they left all their stuff behind? I don't know, man. I mean, yeah. they live in Florida and only come here every 10 years. Maybe they got tired of these woods. I kind of like it here. Hey, it's been a while since we last saw that rabbit who lives in there. Yeah, I hope it wasn't eaten by a bear or worse. Let's have a little What's fun with our buddy boy, and brother. I don't know. Look, Daniel, I think I saw that rabbit from the other day. My God. Look at, look He's inside. trying to get home. Look inside. Ooh. I want to see the bunny. 
And now the pain screams. Maybe. Ah, I told you. Fuck. Sean, my hand. We're gonna be okay. <laughs> oh, right dude. Here. Your face. Sean, it's the you front suck. patrol featuring your Come boy on, PG. I was just kidding around. Seven. <sighs> Moron. Just trying to lighten the mood, buddy boy. Okay. There's nothing there. I don't know if I could gut an animal anyway. Yeah. It's, uh, it would definitely be hard, but I guess in trying times like these, when uh, you... Are you getting hungry? Not really. Really? I'm getting hungry. I can. The family who owned that cabin really seem to enjoy themselves here. <sighs> I never come back. I can. You eat like well, a bear, but you don't gain any weight. That's because I work it off. Okay, it's probably because you're younger and you probably have a faster metabolism because all your energy is going to growing. Not a bad thing, just saying. You know, it's probably a good thing. You keep growing, you're big, tall, and strong. And keep eating your veggies, buddy Daniel's boy. Daniel's getting cold. You can't really name birds, right? People have pet birds. Probably the name of a child who used to live here. Maybe, but you could name pet birds. People have, like, budgies and parakeets and stuff. Okay, I get it. It's an old house. Um, anything around the back that we should... Uh, okay, hold on a second. Daniel's not getting no. any better. Okay. He needs medicine. This... A real house. Okay, yeah. Uh, Proper uh, windows. And okay, buddy boy. Heating. I was just saying, for a second I thought this was like a very similar house layout to the one that uh, Chris or Captain Spirit lived in. Uh, but no, it doesn't look like it's the same place. Because uh, if it had been, well, the, I remember there was a road out the front and it was like pretty flat. And well, not a river right there. So, uh, yeah, let's just get inside, actually. One more thing just before we do go inside. How about we check out the back of the house? Anything here to look at of importance? Old toy. Carving. Runaway millennials. And part-time forest squatters. At your service. Fair enough, buddy boys. <sighs> An old house. If only that was built, it's we could so have had... so silent out here. Had a mushroom. No neighbors. No roads. Oh, it's like we're on another planet. A new planet. That's exactly what we need. Also, I'm just saying, it's also just a nice, a small detail that don't not put into this game. You can see all the walking tracks of where you've walked around this area. And they, like, stay there. And even back around there when I've walked back and forth multiple times. Just to make that game just a slight bit more realistic, I guess. So, uh, don't nod. You get a thumbs up for me for that feature. Alright, let's get in the warm. Come on, mushroom. Come on, Daniel. Even though you're not wearing the matching buddy boy shirt, it's, it's fine. Let's just let's get warm. Don't worry. We'll make a fire. We're pros now. <laughs> I'm a pro, you're a pro, Dude, we're all pros. That cough doesn't sound too good. Uh, I'm okay. Buddy boy, you need a bit of rest. You still need you some rest. Today. Level up. I did. I Indeed, so you cool. did. It's getting easier every day. Well, as they say, practice makes perfect. Oh no, Sean. What's this up? This is a haunted house. More like, uh-oh, it's time to go over the rules. I told you about showing off. I was just... Whatever. I'm have a little Dude, bit of fun with you. I know the rules. Let's find out. What's the first one? I don't Hide even know them. your power. If you spin one plate in a diner, what happens? People will freak out. And when people freak, what do they do? They call the tops. Exactly. The second rule is... Don't, uh... Never talk about it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice, Daniel. Because that's usually the hardest rule for you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and the final rule? I know... Come on. Um... You can do it. Okay. Um... And it is? Avoid danger? Run from danger. Well, this avoiding it altogether is probably a better run. idea. But you still. Know why? Uh, 
I don't know. I mean, with my power, I can help us. But, young Padawan, until you can learn to control your powers, if you freak out, it can be very bad. So just be careful. It can be dangerous, but if we need it as a last resort. Only as a total last resort. How will I know that? We'll if let you know. any other way of helping, do that first. Yeah. Maybe if I had used it before, Dad might still be here. Daniel, you didn't even know. That shit was out of your control. But look what happened to the policeman. Maybe this power is a curse or something. Hey. We have no clue what happened. And it's not your fault. We're gonna figure this out, buddy boy. <coughs> okay, bud, come on. You really need to rest. Don't worry, Mushroom. I'm okay. Good puppy. Good buddy boy. She must be hungry. What about you? I'm always hungry. <laughs> Let's grub out. Yeah, that sounds about right. I'll I've always been hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Before she eats us. <laughs> now, buddy boy, you go rest. We don't need you getting sick and getting more blood noses and stuff like Max did. Didn't need that as it is, and, well, then she lost her power for a bit, and, yeah. Did not go well for those time we lost the power. Okay, who is on the fridge? Family? Feels weird to be living in their home. Dad and Maggie and John. Okay, so I'm guessing the mother was Maggie then. Oh, wait, it was a, like just a dad with a daughter and a son. I mean, that could possibly be it too. I don't know. I gave Paul Summer 93. Fair enough. Postcard. Poor guy. I guess kids have to grow up anyway, right? Daddy Hill, PO Box 367, Cascadia, Oregon. Hi, Dad. Say hello to your little girl in Miami. Yes, there is a sun here and it burns. I love it. Tom knows everybody and I keep waiting to meet Scarface. Read his friend's killer condo with a beach view and balcony. I feel so spoiled, but I know John is at a castle in the Alps, so I don't feel so bad. Plus, I really like it here. What a great way to start the new century. I miss our vacation at the Secret Lodge, but I don't miss the raccoons in my room. Fair enough. Hope you can come visit soon after summer. Love you, Maggie. Fair enough. Okay, so I guess it is his daughter then who uh, moved out. So I guess it was just the dad living here in the end. Wish I had more than tobacco, to be honest. Fair enough, buddy boy. There was a little bit left when we came. Yeah, but... Pretty uh, disgusting, but... Helps staying warm. I just hope that thing was closed, because if that was just an open bottle when you're just randomly drinking out of it, then uh, that could just be all contaminated with... I don't even know what. Hey, Shroom. You thirsty? Oh, drink. Drink up, buttercup. <laughs> Good girl. I hate it when I hear Daniel crying at night. I can't do shit. That'd be so tough. And it's something that, I guess, with the grieving process, you kind of just have to go through, in a sense. Like, you just have to work through it and, you know, deal with that at your own pace. And everyone has their own pace to deal with stuff like that. And some people, unfortunately, just never can get over that kind of stuff. But hopefully things will be better soon. Mushroom clung to Daniel on the first nights. But now she loves her bed by the fire. Well, how about we get that fire going, shall we? We gonna need magazines to put in it, probably. I'm guessing, because you need fuel for a fire. Oh, okay, we can just use some logs, I guess. Sure. But uh, a couple of magazines might be good to just help it light, just to get it started. Oh, shit, where did I put my lighter? Buy the cigarettes somewhere, maybe? 
that would make hashtag video game logic sense, or in a coat? We scored with these clothes. Nice. Plus five street cred. Uh, yeah, but now I'd be looking for the latter, which you would think would be right here, but obviously I'm guessing it's not. Uh, old phone. Well, that's probably gonna do nothing for us. Broken frame, there's a door. In here, maybe? Can't believe how much Daniel's powers have improved over the last weeks. No way I can give any of these to Daniel. Yeah. Risky. Who knows what they even are and what they even do? Don't risk it with random drugs, it's a bad idea. Uh, okay. Hey, I put some clean water in the bathroom so you can wash a little. Good idea. Good idea indeed. Okay, leave those clothes out to dry. Build a fire in the wood stove, find dad's lighter. Oh, it's your dad's lighter? Okay, yeah, no, we definitely need to find that lighter. This room is fucking cold, so... Especially put everything we didn't need in it and keep it closed. Especially if it's a memento of your dad. We've got to find this lighter. Okay, book, letter, lighter. There we go. Time to get warm. Now, what else is here? Yeah. Daniel doesn't need to see this. May 25th, 2003. Hope Patient Center, 21 Medical Boulevard, Hoover, Oregon. Dear Mr. Patrick Hill. So this would be the dad that lives in this place, I believe. This is a reminder for your scheduled chemotherapy appointment at the Hope Patient Center on September 8th, 2 p.m. Please read the enclosed instructions to prepare for your visit. If you have any questions, please call the office. Sincerely, Dr. Fisher. So there's another character who had cancer in this game. Damn. I'm sorry to hear to the buddy boy who was living in this house. No excuse not to binge read. Ooh. Yep. What did you just... Did you just... Were you levitating stuff? Nice work, Daniel. All that Minecraft paid off. <laughs> Fair play! Uh, yes, you are practicing your levitating powers. To be honest, though, probably a good thing to practice it I in here. I how far it can go. Away from everyone else. Now, can we please go light this fire? Even though the song says, we didn't start the fire. But in this case, I did. Because I'm making it. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's probably an old song. But I love you guys. I want to comment down below. Do you guys even know the reference of that song? Come on, let's get Here this fire go. started. Before I make any other oh, old song mushroom. references. We're build a fire. There we go. Light up some magazines. That's a good way to get the fire started. That will get the timber on light and fiery and keep the house warm. Dang, I am starving. Guess it's time to start cooking. Fair enough. Yum. Too bad I can't make a pizza fly to us. He looks so serious on this picture. I still can't believe he's gone. I miss him so much, it hurts, Sean. I know, Daniel. Daniel needs a doggo friend. I know, Daniel. Good to have a little companion. It's okay to think about it. <coughs> to help him get through everything I with. I do it too. Okay. Like. Thanks, Sean. It's a good buddy boy. It's like having your own dog. Just... How you doing, Mushroom? You enjoy. You enjoy hanging out with Mushroom. You're the best puppy. But even though world. a brotherly relationship is one thing, having your own dog is like I'm you know glad we found another thing and another relationship he can have. I can't... Can I please finish talking? Oh, Thank you, Sean. Worse. But yeah, it's good to have another relationship, even though it's with an animal instead. You know, to keep him positive as much as we can. Mm. Tough choice. So, do we either choose Tin Can A? B, C, or D. Um, I'm gonna go with this tin can. What? That's what we got. That was before you even born, Sean. Better talk to Daniel after dinner. Hey. Fair enough. Oh, I'm sorry. Here's your menu choices. Ravioli? Or ravioli. ravioli. Okay, okay. <sighs> now. I'm so tired of eating the same shit. Day. We probably need... I just want one slice of pizza. Dude, you'll be moving cars around in no time if you keep improving like that. Mm, yeah. Really did so? Well, 
That'd be a bad idea, yeah. but you sure are getting good at this. I wonder if there's anyone else like me. Mm. Huh. The irony of that statement. We know it by now. Oh, we do know it. One of them, well, just is, isn't really <coughs> too much like you. She just likes to argue a lot. She's really good at it. How you doing, Mushroom? Another one. Captain Spirit levitating. And You're we got the Max. best puppy in the world. But, well, that's a little bit different. She, uh, she just reverses time, that's all. Now, do we have a knife to open these things with, please? Also this. Oh, yeah. He definitely cared for us. What Gas a piece of shit. Gas station owner confronts fugitives. Police are investigating a store invasion by the two Seattle runaways believed to be responsible for the death of a Seattle police officer in October. Hank Stamper. Dang it, Hank. Owner of a gas station off Highway 5. Okay, so he was the owner of the place. And the pillar of the community said he confronted the two brothers, Sean and Daniel Diaz, after he recognized them in his store. Stamper told the police that the brothers escaped into the woods. They looked lost and adrift. I was only trying to help them as a father and a citizen. Oh, hell no, you weren't, buddy boy. You were kidnapping us. How can I feel bad for him? Family recalls a gentle officer killed in Seattle shooting. Ashley Matthews, sister of Officer Kindred Matthews, killed in a mysterious and controversial Seattle incident that left two dead, has released a statement regarding the threats she received and online critics of the officer. Okay, so at least in that case, if two people were dead, one was the officer and one was Esteban, our father. So in that case, Brett should still be alive then, at least. Which is good, but still what happened to Brett and him being, uh, I guess, temporarily concussed still wasn't good. My brother was a kind man. He was in the force for only six months and shouldn't have been alone that day. My heart is with the Diaz family and all the victims of that terrible accident, including us. The police department needs better funding, so no officer goes on patrol alone if their partner is sick or unavailable. Kindred dedicated his life to helping others, especially children in at-risk homes, and he always volunteered his time for charity. It's easy for people to judge and attack behind a keyboard, but just as we mourn for others, we mourn for the loss of a brave public servant. Fair enough, but... And see, I guess, in that situation, knowing that he is such a young officer, that is why you need a veteran or someone experienced to be with him. He should not have called that, even though I guess he was the only person available to call the shot, he shouldn't have been in the situation where he was the only one to call the shot and shot Esteban, shot our dad. There should have been... He, like, Taser is usually the... At least I would have figured Taser would have been the priority option. Compared to a lethal weapon known as a gun. But anyway, that's the reason why you have a veteran experienced officer who's, you know, more exper- Yet again, who's more experienced and is knows how to better handle those kind of situations without, le without lethal force. But still, rest in peace to that buddy boy. Well, even though what you did wasn't the greatest, still... We still hope you rest in peace. Now, how are we opening this damn food can? We open it already. Because you're not opening it. We really lucked out stumbling into this house. Anything done in this bag? High school feels so far away now. Okay, that is just his inventory. Fair enough. We literally... Can we just pull out our knife, please? I wonder if we can... That'd actually be cool if you could pull stuff out your bag and use it. Like, what if we just stood over here, went into the bag, and it just let us use our knife? Fair enough. That kind of sucks, but oh well. Find a clean saucepan. Oh, right. That's... Fair enough. Maybe putting it in a saucepan is a better idea. Okay, let's find a saucepan. Well, where, oh, where are we finding a saucepan? There's food. There's, yeah, the fridge. Is there any pantry available? These were all I found when I hit the town last week. <laughs> well, my point was to look in more cupboards, but, uh, sure. Mug. Kinda weird to use stranger stuff every day, but... Not like we have a choice. Fair enough. Now, saucepan, please. I, I... Okay, I hope you're gonna clean this first. <laughs> Daniel needs to eat something after all that psychic crap. Yeah, I don't even know what to call it. I'm calling it telekinesis witchcraft of life is strange. Because that's what I got right now. Alright, let's prepare this ravioli. I 
Okay, buddy boy, we'll get you some food too. Don't worry, buddy boy. Needs to cook first. Or at least so we don't, you know. I guess we don't really get food poisoning. It's canned food. We should be fine, but still. Now, whilst you cook... Um, uh, what do we do now? Uh, we... Just... Hang out? Look, let's look at stuff we haven't looked at yet. Room. This I wish I helped Dad more with the house chores back then. Fair enough, buddy boy. Yep. No more indoor training sessions. Oh, so you break that. Is that why there's a... Okay, that probably explains why we have the cardboard on the window. This is rank. I <sighs> wanted to look at this. Sharing with Daniel was the... No more peeing at night for Daniel. He got so scared. We're lucky he didn't blow up the house. Fair enough. Now, dry clothes. Cool. It feels weird to loot other people's clothes, but... Oh. They're not even our clothes. We need the warmth. Oh, right. Are you using them or not? I think you are. Oh, boy. Okay, you know what? I was going to say that should be... That would be really dangerous. Because it looks like an electrical-type cable coming out of the wall. But this place probably has no power, so uh, it probably isn't as dangerous as it would normally be. I think be. I could get used to living like this. Yeah, let's try Quiet, not to do that. Free. But it does have it, some advantages, I guess. Fair, fair enough, Hello, fair play. Hello, motel room soap. Okay, come on, we've looked at a lot of this stuff. Feels almost good to be cut off from everything. Fair enough. Now, how long until this dinner is ready? Because I'm getting hungry. Oh, yes, thank you. Let's go. Set the meal. Okay. Dinner's ready. Let's get a bit of that grub in our stomachs. Go out and have a good old feed tonight. Getting sick of ravioli. I'd prefer ravioli over nothing. But, uh, it's better than nothing, but, uh, Try and be a little bit more positive, I guess. That was spaghetti Eladias. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you taste the famous truffle sauce? Yep. Plus, I love the garlic bread and ice cream. Yum. If only. Ooh, you want some too, huh, mushroom? Fair enough. I guess you're not going to get your hands dirty to feed a mushroom. Okay, at least it's not too hot for mushroom. Bon appetit. Bon appetit, mushroom. Man, she loves this stuff. <coughs> <sighs> Buddy boy. <coughs> Drink up a little bit. Get that cough out of your chest. Sorry. I'm cool. So good, buddy boy. Hold on. I need to show you something. And that um, is... Okay. Gotta show him the map. Uh, I think I left it with my books. Okay, for a second I was gonna say, ah, uh, where are we going for this? Okay. Hmm. Nothing here. Is there not bag? Uh, what did you do with the map? What do you mean? You know what I mean. A bag? Where's the map that was with my stuff? Oh, this map. Oh. It's in my tent. Sorry, Sean. Fair enough, buddy boy. So, your stuff should be over here. Yep. Yeah. Okay, yep. Boy, right, let us look at... Can we look at his stuff, please? Or is it in our bag? Oh, wait, no, sorry, that... Ah, dang it, he meant inside his tent, not inside his stuff, like of our traveling... Ah, dang it, okay. Now I remember you got a tent here, let's grab out the map. <laughs> Come on, bro, you can't... You can't be making these mistakes. Okay, there's a slate, there's that, there's a good old buddy boy mushroom. Okay, come on, Your doggy. buddy girl. Let's go, girl. Hey, man, uh... can you call your dog? I don't exist. Mushroom, come here, girl. 
Thank you, buddy boy. What a great team. Okay. Drawing? Hmm. I could do a super cool manga about Daniel. Nice. Well, especially with the superpowers now. It could be kind of cool. And you wouldn't think people would, you know, think he, you're being real and serious if you're making like a, a little manga anime cartoon type thing. Or like a comic. People just think you're doing making a cool comic about your brother. Time to play dad, Doc. Oh, you'd think so, at least anyway. Alrighty then. Let's go. Take the map. Sean, there's someone at the door. What the? When did he show up? I don't know. Mother. Uh, is... Daniel? <laughs> Got you. <laughs> okay, I had no clue what that was. So I was thinking it's going to be the back door. Okay, buddy boy, good job. I'll pay it. Yeah. Okay. Good job. You didn't get me jumping like last time. <laughs> you almost shit your pants. Of course I did, man. Last time, maybe, but not this time. Anyway. Yeah, let's place the map. Nope, let's place the map. Let's take a look. Let's schedule out our next route. Let's figure out where we're going, and let's get on the road tomorrow. Yep, whenever it's best to do so. As long as it's not like a snowstorm or something. All right, let's get this cleared okay. out. Let's figure out where we're going. I think it's time for us to hit the road. Indeed. You're not getting better. We're almost out of supplies. No, I'm okay. <coughs> <sighs> it's just a cough. Yeah, a bad cough that won't go away. Yeah. Trust me, Daniel. You need some medicine. Look, here. Beaver Creek? What's that? That's where Karen's parents, our grandparents live. Okay. Nice. So what? So we can go there and they'll probably help us. We'll have a place to Why stay at least. Why do force us to run, Sean? What if they don't like me? The family. We, we, we gotta hope. Surely, the family. Surely they'll care. Surely they'll care for us. They're family, right? Family's gotta stick for together. What Karen, for what mom did. Um. You sure? It would be cool to spend Christmas with our grandparents. Man, they're gonna love you. Grandpa's super cool, and I'm sure you guys will be best buds. Well. Okay, but Mushroom has to agree too. She's part of the team. Fair enough. What do you say, girl? <laughs> Are we good? Okay, when? Tomorrow. The sooner the better. Yeah. We have a long road ahead. Hmm. Indeed we do. We should do something fun for our last night here. How what do you got in mind? Dice? If I win? I get to draw on your backpack. You know I'm gonna win and draw a dick on your bag, right? <laughs> I don't think so, pussy. All right, well, I guess we're playing Fun a game of dice. dice. Okay, ready to lose, Captain? Watch your butt, matey. All right, so how does this work again? Is it just like th first to th 30 or something? Okay, so a six... Okay, so there's a six, a five, a blank, 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 and a four. Okay, well, let's just throw the dice and go. see what we get. Just need a six, a five, and a four. Oh! Use that as a ship? Got a ship now. Okay, use this as a captain. Okay, well, this doesn't say anything else to you, so we're going for it. <laughs> Captain's ready to rule. And crew. More pirates. Hi. And, uh, okay. They aren't really big rolls. I'm, uh, I want to throw the dice again. All right. Got a full ship. And you've just scored big now. Nice. Okay, you are going to be loot. You're I a six. Score. But for these two, we got all one more dice left. Okay. 
So I think the way this game works, you need to get a six, a five, and a four. So you got your ship, your crew, and your captain, and then everything else is loot. And then I think it's this. Then I think it's first to 30 from there. So I think I kind of got the rules. We're throwing again. All right. Three and a two. the time for big numbers. Nice. Okay, add that to the loot. How are you going to beat that? And then what we're going to add that to the loot too. Here you go, cargo. Good luck beating that, mate. Not bad. Don't worry about that. Fourteen. Damn. Good score. The dice are yours. Are you gonna use your powers to try and win? What? Come on. Okay, maybe not. Six, please. Six. Got a ship now. Very nice. Okay. Come on. Not bad to practice. Do Good idea. Anything. I don't wanna get a full ship. Come on. So I'm guessing that means you gotta zero that round, maybe. I guess so. Okay, so you My need a turn now. Be ready to lose. Wait, does that mean we get because he didn't get a full ship, we get to start off with your six? Maybe. Cool. Give me the same. Okay, no, we Come don't. Come on. I need a ship. <laughs> Too bad. Oh wait, we can't just. Oh, we have to go from ship to captain to crew. Okay, now I get it. Kinda, a little better. I need a ship. Give me a six. Still no ship. Come on. Seriously. <laughs> Stuck in a harbor. Too bad. Dang it! Let's hope we get lucky. This let's is my go. Last chance. Don't fail me. Yes. Full ship and cargo. What are you gonna do? Use the six, says the that. ship. We got our buddy boy, Captain. <laughs> Ahoy, Captain. And we got a crew. I have a crew now. Here comes the loot. Here we go. Add all dice to loot. You know what? Yeah, that's gonna be quicker. Thank you very hey, much. Pretty good loot. Ooh, look at these scores. I <laughs> Told think we're winning. Win. You know what it means? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we get to draw in your bag now. A dick. <laughs> oh my bad. Uh, mm, let me think. You know what? I know we could, but I think I want to draw a wolf. We're we're the two lone wolves. Unfortunately, with one of our wolf pack having been passed away back in Seattle. Due to the whole incident with the neighbors and the police officers and everything. But we are wolves. So I shall draw a wolf. Hold on. It's not an easy one. It needs concentration. Ta da! Let's see those artist skills. The artistic excellence. Whoa. It's so cool. Thanks, Sean. Oh, good buddy boy. So, let's do another one? Yeah, okay, why not? Let's have yeah, a bit of fun. Okay. Be ready to lose again. It's getting late, though. So, let's make it short. Okay. Alright, let's throw the dice. What are we getting? I wonder what we would have done if we didn't find these dice. I don't know. Probably read all these books. Huh. Boring. Okay, we can't do anything. You remember that time I beat Dad at chess? You mean we beat Dad? Yeah, you did help me distract them. There we go. <laughs> yeah. I bet he would have liked this game. Dang it, okay, can't do any more. He was a great pirate. Just like us. Captain Diaz, King of the Seas. Dang it, we got a zero. You okay, buddy boy, what you got? We'll have a console. Uh, I don't think so, dude. Sorry. Yeah, hey, Biddy. I like playing dice and stuff too. <laughs> Whoa, nice. Daniel, the big nerd, getting sick of screens. <laughs> no way. It's nice for a change, but I still want my playbox. <laughs> yeah. I bet. Ah, <sighs> yeah. And I'm enjoying playing mine. Noah's keeping our Minecraft fortress alive, for when I come back. I'm sure he is, pal. No way he gave up your super kingdom. Damn. Nice. 
Mushrooms growing up so fast. <laughs> really? I don't see much difference. Well, she's still a tiny dot. But I can tell she's getting older and smarter. You're a smart girl. Right? <laughs> <sighs> Indeed, she's Mushroom so is. Cute. I love her forever. Nice. Good old Mushroom. <sighs> can I get a four, please? Yes. There we go. What the hell? What? What happened? I'm gonna say add though. You are being added to the loot. Yes. And he scores. I'm adding you to the loot. Great job, lover. And you are a two. You know what? I'm gonna take a gamble on this one. All right. Now's the time for Come big numbers. On. Awesome. Dang I'll do it. better next time. Or not. Well, I think we're tied Good now. Good luck beating that, matey. Don't worry about that. Your turn, lover. What are you getting? What are you rolling? What? Come on. Six. Please. Six. This game sucks. Don't give up. Keep playing, buddy boy. Can't just have some fun. Phew. It was a close one. <sighs> nice. I, I gotta admit that it's pretty nice. You did well. And you're at 25, and are you? I win. Yes, you are. No, wait, 21. Well, so, yeah. let's do another one? Okay, we'll do one more game. Yeah, okay. And then we're going to bed, because it's getting time. late. It's getting late, though. So, let's make it short. Okay. Throw the dice. Cool. Give me the same. <sighs> Sheesh. Throw them again! Yes! Full ship! Woo! Use as a ship! Got ship now. Uh, let's see, let's uh, use you as a captain. <laughs> Captain's ready to rule. Ahoy! Use you with the crew? I have a crew now. Here comes the loot. Okay, you're a two, so I'm gonna add you to it. You're a six! High score! I'm going to add you to it. You're How a are six. You beat that? And old mate down here, I'm going to rethrow this All dice. All right. Now's the time for big numbers. Nice. Little improvement. Not bad. <laughs> Loot. Good luck beating that, matey. Don't worry about that. 60. That's a nice the story dice to yours. Got a ship now. Nice. I need a captain. Come on. What are you rolling? Yes. Ship, captain, and crew. Very nice. I need the score now. Pretty please. <sighs> Lame. Not bad. The threes are right. One's not the greatest, but still. You did all right. Ah, oh, pretty good. My turn now. Now, if we can just you extend our lead, lose. get the win. Okay, got a ship. It's better than nothing. Okay, here we go. Throw the dice. Come on, five. Yes. There's a Full captain. Ship. And now for the crew. More pirates. Hi. And now I'm going to add you in the five. Yes. And he scores. That's going to give I us a big score. margin. And you, I will re-roll. Because you know what? If we risk you, I think we'll be okay. All right. Now's the time for big numbers. Oh, buddy boy. Nice. The improvement. Nice. Here you go, Cargo. Told you I win. And there we go. GG's in the chat. 31, damn! So, let's do another one? Sorry, buddy boy, it's getting late. It's bedtime. Gotta get up early. I'm gonna finish my comic book. Fair enough. <coughs> What's up, Mushroom? Okay, okay. I'll take her out for a walk. 
All right. They're going to smoke. It smells like ass. You're right. Don't smoke. <laughs> but it's our last night, so we can do anything. Fair all enough, right, I guess. All right. I heard you the first time, dude. <sighs> All right. Go on a little walk, shall we? Go on a little walk. Take a think of our thoughts and just regroup and see what's going on. So how you going, Sean? What's on your mind, buddy boy? And why are they orange? Is it just me or aren't cigarettes huge? Okay, maybe it's just okay. For a second I was going to say, that does not look right, but I guess that was just the colour of the flame on them, maybe. Or from below them. <sighs> what a beautiful environment to be in, though. Even though, unfortunately, we're in it for the worst of circumstances, being on the run. But, such a nice, peaceful and serene and just, you know, being surrounded by nature and Go. Just all good, good round vibes. <sighs> yeah, okay, just like at the start of the game, guys. I think we just gotta enjoy this moment whilst we got it. Because, let's be honest, this life is strange. And uh, because of hashtag video game logic, I'm sure it's gonna kick off with action at some point. <sighs> so let's just enjoy this moment. Enjoy the peace. Okay, bud. You don't have to have an awesome superpower to be special and unique. Life is Strange 2. Episode number two. Rules. <sighs> what music. What a start to the episode. A nice peaceful start indeed. Before we get to the hectic chaos I'm sure will ensue at some point. Let's be honest, it's a Life is Strange game after all. <sighs> Top up that fire, keep it nice and warm so we say nice and toasty overnight. <sighs> Sleep tight, buddy boy. Sleep tight and don't let the bed bugs bite. <sighs> Kick off them shoes. Let's have a nice little rest and relaxation. Enjoy the night. Enjoy the peace. <sighs> We're gonna get there. We're gonna get to Puerto Lobos one day. Keep believing. Keep that hope with you, Sean. With the with the PG community behind you, behind you and Daniel, and with your boy PG there with you too. We got this. Oh, it's the morning time. Can we get some bacon and eggs, scrambled eggs, and a side of hash browns? That'd be great. Ah, uh, what's uh, was her name? Joyce, I think, from Life is Strange 1. Hey, Daniel? Get a good old fracky maid. It sucks. I'm I know. coming. I know, buddy. I'm sorry. We gotta keep moving, though. Yeah, what's going on? Mushroom wants to go out. Don't you hear? Yeah, sorry. Move. Nice. I gotta pay it. <sighs> so, what's going on? It doesn't fit in. There's too much stuff. It's fucking bullshit. Okay, buddy boy. It's gonna be okay, but don't keep swearing too much. It's, you don't need to keep going off. It says said a little bit, not too much. Okay, no more swearing. Sure. Like, you're always polite. I know. Come on, chill out. What did you pack in? What 
the f <sighs> Dude, you can't fit the whole room in. Don't worry. Your super strong big brother can help. <laughs> we got you, buddy boy. Awesome. Thanks, Sean. Well, looks like we're almost set. All right. Where's Mushroom? Still peeing, I guess. I'm gonna check what she's up to. <sighs> okay. Fair enough. I'll fill up our bottles and I'll catch up with you guys. Also, if you left Mushroom to go outside, why don't we just leave the door open so she can come back in when she's done? Okay, what about those? Uh, okay, refill the container. Not the containers, the canteens. Which I guess canteens are containers, so technically I'm right by saying containers instead of canteens. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. Hashtag PG logic there. Alright, we refilled, we set. Medicine, can't take, got the clues, the broken window, okay. Think we're good in here. Let's put these in the bag. Got all okay. packed up. All done. Where the hell is he? Uh, buddy boy? Daniel? 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 Hey, you out here? Where are you at? What? You just thought the thought mushroom just had to. Daniel? Um. There's multiple trials here. Where is he? Okay, so you would think that would just be Mushroom's trail there. You know, stay close by the house to go, you know, go take a leak. Okay, so go go this way. Let's just stay on we the have trails. A two day walk ahead of us. Better get going. Oh boy. Okay, so that one stopped. Let's just keep following this trail. Daniel was nowhere to be seen. Call him by holding. L okay, cool. Daniel, where are you, buddy boy? Where are you at? Okay, this one loops. Uh, okay, that could just be from the track. What the fuck happened here? Wait, hold on. Oh, the trap's right there. Oh, boy. Uh, what is going on? Remember when I said let's enjoy the peace whilst we can? Oh, boy. Was that a bandana? That's not good. Uh, what happened? Where's Mushroom? Let's pick it up. Oh boy. What happened? Please don't tell me you were trying to use your superpowers on mushroom. Oh, it's an Daniel? actual wolf. Oh boy, come on, turn on the jets. It's like, it's a, no, it's not a wolf, that's a cougar. Mushroom! Calm down, okay? Listen. Leave me alone! No! Funny boy. No, wow, uh, no, that's a cougar. Oh boy. Buddy boy, I know what it did. But we can't let you do it. It's, it had no clue. It's just, it's living in nature, the circle of life. I know human life is a little bit different and we consider dogs different, but it just considers it food. I'm sorry, buddy boy. No! No! Sorry, buddy boy. Mushroom's gone. Mushroom? <laughs> what? Fuck. <laughs> Daniel. I get out. So I get out, community. <laughs> ah. Just wouldn't have changed anything to kill it. <laughs> F's in the chat. F's in the comment section for Mushroom. I'm right here. It's alright. At least Pompadour survived throughout the game. 
mushroom's already gone. We haven't even had mushroom a full episode yet. Dang it. <sighs> Come, buddy boy. If we got our stuff, have we got all our gear? We need to get away from this place. We we do, I we cannot afford to be eaten. We're trying to get to Puerto Lobos. There we go. Good idea. Let's make mushroom a little grave before we go. Here. You should do it. <sighs> Rest in peace, buddy girl. Buddy girl mushroom. That's it. It's pointless. I can't even bury her. Well, unless you want to say something. A place of remembrance. Uh, goodbye, mushroom. You were such a good puppy. I'll always remember. Running through the snow with you. And how you. You snuggled, and I'll never forget you. Never. Rest in peace, buddy boy. Good buddy girl. girl. Rest in peace. You won't be forgotten. Sean. Do you think she's up in heaven? With dad? I'm sure good old Esteban, he would have been looking down. He would have been, he would have known that Mushroom was with us. I'm sure he's looking after him. Or looking after her, sorry. Yeah. I'm sure he will look after her. What about his allergies? <sighs> Don't worry, man. <laughs> There's no allergies up there. They'll be fine together. I'm sure they'll figure it out. <sighs> okay. We should go. It's getting late. Okay. <sighs> Come on, buddy boy. Let's get back on the road. Try and go find our grandparents' house. Rest in peace, Mushroom. Rest in peace. <sighs> Wish we didn't have to go. I like having a house again. It was nice while it lasted. Let's hit the road. What about my traps? Should we leave them up? Don't protect the next runaways to stay here. I put both you in charge of the house mushroom. <laughs> so long, my dudes. Goodbye, buddy boys. Good job. And hopefully one day we'll see you down the line. believe we've already lost mushroom we, ha we haven't even had we haven't even had her a full episode yet <sighs> oh okay lighting graphics just popped up on the screen sure then <laughs> yet again your boy pg's glitching out games when don't I glitch out a game when I play it? <sighs> Yet again. What to tell you? We just gotta enjoy these peaceful moments whilst we got them. Because it's, it's, it's a Life is Strange game. It's always gonna kick off at some point. 
<sighs> nope, come on, buddy boy. Don't don't fall over. <sighs> Damn, there's so much snow. I'll be honest, there's not very many places in Australia where you get that. It's so hot over here. <sighs> there we go, buddies. Teamwork makes the dream work. Your brother's gonna stick together. It's a dough. It's a dough. That's like Rachel's spirit animal, keeping an eye out on us. You know, I know this isn't exactly a song to properly dance to, but this is just one of those nice, relaxing songs. Yeah, just rock about to. Just rock and nut off. It's okay, buddy boys. We're gonna figure it out, we're gonna get to Puerto Lobos. But first, we're gonna go find our grandparents. There we go, we found the main road at least. Progress has been made, civilization has somewhat been found. But let's be honest, if there's a road, Civilization's gotta be somewhere along it. Is that an owl or like an eagle? I don't know. My dad is a piggyback ride if ever I've seen one. Oh, well, close enough at least. <sighs> Yet again, building that brotherly connection. Beaver Creek. There we go, we've made it! Asking the locals for a little bit of help. Cheers, buddy boy! Now to just go and find our grandparents. Yeah, I think these guys have had to wait a long time to even get back here. Get back to being quick to find their grandparents. I think they said they haven't seen their grandparents in a long time, so 